Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Shepard, are you reading me? Commander. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Ashley's been hurt. We're taking her to the Citadel. Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Commander. Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Ash? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. You didn't see what they did to Earth. How is one weapon supposed to stop them? What are our options? You know we can't win this conventionally. Commander? Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Ash. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, you too. Though it's Commander now. 
Congratulations. Uh, thanks. Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Thanks. I might do that. You go on ahead. I'll head up to Adina's office. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. Recent intel suggests that the entire... Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? So why would she be here unless she's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! Ms. Wong, what's going on? Commander, just who I was looking for. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience. But that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all Council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Palavin and Earth, the invading force appears to be designed to attack those planets. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One please. moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. That the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. Patients stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splints still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth. Okay? I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. According to the Council, these 
these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. There you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten a proper leave of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't technically done anything wrong by joining me to defeat the Collectors? Yes. Though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker's still aboard. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. Early reports indicate... Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Centurion colonies. Fighting is said to have reached Palavan. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Palavan and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same that attacked those planets. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the Council is already in session. Councillor, the Reapers are in our space as well. Earth is no more or less important than any Council homeworld. But Earth was the first Council world hit. By all reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. How do you know this is the brunt? New Reaper fronts are opening up everywhere. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked. A full-scale invasion. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Earth may be suffering, but our worlds are falling too. The Turians have lost Tatris. We must fight this enemy together. Need I remind you that the last time we fought the Reapers, Shepard sacrificed the Council to protect human interests. True. But in the end, we survived because we followed Shepard's lead. And what if that's not enough this time? The reports are dire. If we throw everything we have at the Reapers on Earth and lose, what then? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Prothean? What is it exactly? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. And this is capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. It's immense and intricate. This is a fool's errand. The Protheans were wiped out by the Reapers. Clearly, the weapon is flawed. It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you believe in this, Shepard? 
After what you've seen of the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And Udina's right. We need to stand together now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The Council cannot give Earth the military support it needs. Our own planets must come first. The Salarian Union is convening a summit amongst our species. If we can secure our own borders, we may be able to aid you. Our fleets are also engaged. Honesty is all I can offer, Commander. I will not make a promise of rescue that I cannot keep. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? Commander. I can't give you what you're asking for, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Palavin's Primarch Fedorian is the one that called the War Summit. He's your kind of man, open to extreme solutions. Trouble is, he didn't get out of Palavin's system when the Reapers attacked. We don't know if he's alive. He's essential to the summit. If the Normandy could extract him without being detected... The Reapers are tearing us apart and you want to make a deal? I'm trying to help you, Commander. The summit leaders set our war strategy, and this council is beholden to their decision. Save the Primarch, gain an ally. One with the power to grant you what you're looking for. Well, the Reapers ravage Earth. Your counselor was right. We need to work together. This is the best way to get that. <laughs> Our intel says Primarch Fedorian is on Palavin's largest moon. Get in and out undetected, and he'll take care of the rest. Good luck, Commander. You're gonna need it. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And there are certain resources that will be made available to you. Good luck. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks.
by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Early reports indicate that Earth has fallen to the same... Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? <laughs> 